Welcome to the Hydraulic Lab. This is the lab we use when we want to train students in skills like um, hydraulics and pneumatics. Today, I have a project that I'm doing. This is um, in pneumatics. You can follow me so that you see. On this bench, this is our pneumatic bench, where we make this. What I have here is a circuit in, in using air, which is pneumatics. My circuit here is a sequencer, a sequence. Now, I want things to happen in a certain sequence whereby the, the other one should do the work before the other one comes in. Then at the end, it should go, they should go back in their original positions. What I have here are my components on the body. This is my cylinder number one. On my cylinder number one, I have two limiting switches. The switch number one, which is where the cylinder is resting, then the furthest one, which will limit the distance which the cylinder should go, that is the cylinder na uh, limit switch number two. And again, I have another cylinder here, which is another second cylinder, which is in the extended position. In this position, this is the one we would love to come and see to retain it in its original position after the end of the function. Then the whole sequence will be completed. I can control the movements of the cylinders either extending or retracting by using the restrictors here. These two restrictors, they are one way. They will allow flow in the other direction very fast, but in the other direction, it won't allow it to be regulated depending on how much I've adjusted them. I have two, two direction control valves. These are the five by two direction control valves. The first one here is controlling the other cylinder. Then the next one, the second one, is controlling the other cylinder, which is an extended position. I have a dual valve here. This dual valve there allows air to flow through in any direction without any restriction. I have my main switch here. This is the switch that I will use in order to actuate the sequencer so that the operation is there. Then I have the major component here, which is a stepper motor. A stepper motor has sections. In each section, there are sections which we call TA and TB. Within TA and TB, there are components in built inside. That is a three by two and a, a and get uh, there we are using uh, within the uh, this circuit so and uh, the other end here of the main block hmm, where I'm connected all the air coming from the compressor through it and all these they are correcting the air they are um, supply from the same block which is going to various components which I have here because each component should have some air from the compressor so when I switch on the first cylinder to extend you will be cylinder number one, which will actuate the valve on the valve here. As it goes back again, it will rest on this cylinder. By so doing, the, the first one here will supply air to the module on the point X, then A also, we have A1, A2, A3, A4, then X1, A2, A3, and these are the modules which are complaining. A for air, X to bring the air inside. I hope my camera will, will pick up the numbers that I'm pointing up. Then the P down here is for the air to include the module from there. Then I have um, ZN and ZN plus one also for memory resetting. I hope, I think that is enough. We can now go into the main step. I'll switch on the air. I have air supply, as you can hear the easing of air due to the valves which are pacing. I'm actuating now, pressing my push button, that's the extension. That look at what's happened to cylinder number two, it's going in slowly, that's the period, and it goes back to its memory. I can adjust the speed to be a bit fast. If I press now, you look at this, it's just switching cylinder number two, which will go in and extend, at least now, 
have achieved my goal. And what is happening is a sequence because cylinder number one first extends, actuates on the limit switch, then comes back on the other limit switch. That's when cylinder number two goes in. Then after that, again, the memory will be reset so that it goes back to its original position. So cylinder number two, to go in this original position, it's been actuated by the step remote there. If you can speak the way the action which is going on, the switch is there, you find that they are also changing positions. Releasing air and applying and again changing so that now they can go back to its memory. Because of the Zn is balancing air with Zn plus one. These two points are supposed to be noted properly. That's now. The operation of the modular is the one which is now bring the cylinder back in its memory position. So if you look at it, it goes in, but it will go out because we set it that it should be extended. Application. This, we can apply it in the industry. There are so many industries where you need something to switch on another component in order to do the work, and that is what we can do. Maybe clamping or holding something or stamping or taking something off its way so that it can be allowed to pass. So applications, there are so many things in the industry that we can do.